That's different. Okay. Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. Wow, I've totally lost my mind. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I consider you a one hit wonder. I am so glad that you're here. And right this second, I am drawing a blank. Six hours later. This is my new favorite crochet toy. It's so, it, it's so, okay. Like I used it y'all look look at this like i don't know if you're a weirdo right if you're oh look at that okay i probably wouldn't recommend this long term <laughs> look at me <laughs> okay but just just the flexibility of oh wow wait Y'all, <laughs> look at this. Okay, I know it's a neck light, I, and it's still technically on my neck. Wow, look at, okay, seriously. It stays where you tell it to go. This is so great. So it's made by Lumos and Lumos. I want to be able to pronounce that. Lumos and Lumos. Oh, and get this. Oh, after you buy one of these, they send you a PDF with knitting and crochet information in it. I haven't taken a close look at it. I don't know if it's got patterns in it. But it's a nice booklet to have because it's got information about learning how to knit and crochet um, and some other stuff. It's, it, the, the booklet's like, I don't know, more than, it's more than 10 pages. So there's that. Plus you can use this code for more tips on how to use the Lumos knitting light and crochet. I love this. I love this, love this, love this. It's great. Look at, seriously. My other one, nope, not even. Look at me, I'm Pippi Longstocking, y'all. I could, <laughs> now I don't know why you would need Pippi Longstocking lights, but still. This, the flexibility, I love this, I love this, I love this. The next day. Okay, I, oh, so I had told y'all my future plans for next year was to convert a knit pattern into Tunisian crochet between whenever that was and December 31st, 2024. And then fast forward a little bit when I said that I wanted to challenge Linan from Nina's Knots Crochet to do the same thing. So that's what we're gonna be doing in 2024. Now I hear that, right? I say that and I like, I make a mental note of it that we will be starting this in 2024. And it's not like I can say, well, I live in a different time zone and someplace on the planet, even though it is mm, November, 2023 here, it's. 2024 somewhere I can't I can't even do that so here's what happened I was rearranging my yarn god I gotta get my story straight I was rearranging my yarn and I touched this yarn that I 
finally got my hands on. This is all sounding very sketchy and very not believable. But really, this is what happened. I got... <clears throat> Just, just give me a minute. Oh my lord. So here's what happened. Alright, so remember the Glam Fam colorway? The yarn that we got from Thrifts and Stitches? <sighs> yeah. Well, there were some on my shelf. And I said, hmm, I wonder what that'll look like. So I decided I would make a swatch. So that's what I did. I started a swatch in Tunisian crochet because, you know, I still, I know that this project is coming up and, oh, what was I thinking? Okay. Yeah. So I still have this thought process, right? That a knit pattern and a crochet pattern, you know, the gauge, like if you did 10 Tunisian crochet stitches and 10 regular crochet stitches and 10 knit stitches, they're going to be different sizes even though they're the same number of stitches and they could all be the same yarn you know what things are good so i said i want to see i found this pattern it's a knit pattern and i'll pop in a thing right here it's called cobblestone something and it's a free pattern from yarn inspirations i believe so here this is the pattern that I am hacking it sounded funny. This is the pattern that I am tweaking into a Tunisian crochet pattern. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I wonder what this yarn would look like. That's not what I was doing either. What am I, I, ugh. Long story short, this is what I got. Ooh, look at it on there. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it was pulling like crazy. All right. So the original pattern, let me see here, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think you're supposed to do two inches of ribbing for the bottom. So the pattern I'm using is bottom up in pieces because that's just gonna be the easiest way to go, I think. And I started with one skein. And uh, as I was working it, I started noticing some pooling. It is so funny to look at it straight on. It looks like pooling, but when you look at it in the camera, it's woo, wow, okay. So because I started noticing the pooling, I thought, okay, I have, I think I have four skeins and I don't want the whole thing to pull. Maybe if I started another skein, it just to see what it would do. So you can tell where I started a different skein. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so honestly, I'm digging this part more than this part right here. Am I gonna frog it? I hope not, because I really don't want to. So, it's supposed to take me a year, which is good, which is really, really good. Mm. That's all I got to say about this right now. But, I made gauge using, this is fingering weight yarn, and this hook is, yeah, the, the letters come off. It is a US 10, so I think it's a K, which is a six and a half, I, J, K. Yeah, I think this is a six and a half millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. But I got gauge, you know, with following the knitting, knitting pattern, uh, gauge, stitch gauge. Yeah. 
I'll put the number, whatever it's supposed to be on the screen. Um, but yeah, now this has been a whole lot. Look at the back. Who's on a... <laughs> anyway. This is giving me such 80s vibes, but I love the arrow. I mean, the pulling, but it looks like an arrow. That's just so funny how that works. And I, I assume that these uh, skeins were all dyed at the same time. So you can, it. it's just neat. Anyway, this yarn is super soft. Like, just so soft. <clears throat> so, this is my year-long project to convert a knit pattern to Tunisian crochet, and I am hoping that I'll have enough to do sleeves, but since sleeves come last, that's okay, because a vest would be just fine, too. Anyway, <laughs> look at that. It's so... It's so different just from here to here. Now I feel like I should have just kept going with this. And I'm trying not to talk myself out of it. Oh, <gasps> y'all, what would you do? Would you frog back to the pulling and then just reattach the pulling, the, the pulling skein or continue with this right here and then add the pulling skein in somewhere else? Because this is what... Okay, so yeah, this is the, the non-pooling skein, and this is what is left of the pooling skein. They look, this, oh, oh, and the other thing, I am pulling from the middle of this and the outside of this. So that also could come in, that could play a part into why it's turning out differently. I said that out loud and I'm feeling like a donkey. Thank you.